intuitively you know this through the times where love feels like it's turned upside down where you feel like this dream and rainbow have been lost you know this connection went so much deeper your family soul family and all these starts and stops and ins and outs and turbulence is about coming back into balance. That's why you signed up for this, for healing in your soul. This twin flame connection envelops so many tower moments. So many tower moments. But out of the shambles, out of the rubble, out of everything that feels like it's being destroyed, you you guys cannot help but to show back up, to give to each other. Once again, you always find the hope. You always return to the love. The biggest misconception that people have is that healing is a straight line. Healing is not a straight line. Wow. If you look at it as a scraped knee, the scab is definitely not a straight line and it doesn't fall, come off in perfect layers. It's healing is a spiral of revisiting until you understand enough, until you have um, gotten to the point where this scar no longer makes you cry. <laughs> it's not painful, but it's evidence of what you walk through in your life to the new beginning that you're at to become who you were meant to be, who you are. It involves many dark nights and many emotions and choices that are made to continue versus staying stuck. And the secret between the two of you is that, is that both of you have chosen this love, even though you have been burned by love, so scarred and hurt by love. Meeting each other gave you hope, hope and healing. And a knowing of your worth and the reflection that you see in each other. And the reflection that you see of each other and the willingness to... It's just like this pure, innocent love between your hearts. And acceptance that sometimes you are each not... You're each not. <laughs> each of you are not going to be at your best. You're not going to be... Showing up right, we have bad days, we're angry, we're sad, we're mad, we're hangry, we're frustrated. Sometimes we drop a belief, but the two of you will always show up in acceptance for each other and see the beauty of your souls beyond the current moment, which makes the current moment even better and eliminates the doubt and the fighting just to be fighting and the need to be right. You guys are healing each other. It's been a long journey and you're so close to the final victory of having love the way you want it. You discovered that you can speak to each other and lay the sword down because you are each other's choice. There's no other one to make a new judgment call about the belief that love is pain and that you have to lash out to be heard. You don't. There's an outpouring of love towards you and for love that seems lost, this is a new beginning. It hasn't gone away. You're walking in, away from the beliefs of unhealthy love and healthy relationships, things that hurt your heart. And in this new beginning, you can put those broken cups to rest. This person wants to give to you, not hurt you. And same from you to them. They certainty, truth, and love. Or you want to pick up speed with that and come towards them to meet in the middle to, to protect each other and love each other with all that you have. 
to great you guys have the love that creates worlds this love cannot be lost it's sent to be meant to be to show you both true passion and affection and reverence that you never got not only are you crazy about each other not only is there so much love and chemistry but you actually respect each other This was excruciatingly hard. Really very painful. But so very much worth it. This connection is locked down and protected by the higher ups, the universe, the gods, whatever you want to call it. Greater connection and building is coming towards you. There is no disconnect. You have arrived. <laughs> yeah, you have arrived. And this higher level of commitment, you've got it. All the things you went through that felt so wrong I and mean, felt like they broke you are quickly being connected. You're no longer going to be left out in the cold and love, but consistently given to you. A big offer actually from your person is coming your way. And I think it's a gift from the universe. Justice for all the things you had to go through before this moment and a decision and not knowing what to do. Your guard will be let down and this manifestation will be made clear that it's arrived. And this love is strong and infinite. They are your protector and you have tamed the beast, the demons within them that have troubled them for so long. Higher level commitment is coming. And you don't have to be afraid to be vulnerable. Together you have built this foundation that I feel it's taken a few years. I'm getting like three, four years of healing and that's because you guys were so deeply wounded. Life kept you at a distance so that you could um, heal without being further hurt. Aging and balance, your two worlds are separate but they're coming together now and you wanna share each other's passion because you see each other as a sign and this person respects you not only desires you, loves you, but respects you and who you are. You guys are very same page. Practical, but also believe in love and leap of faith. There's no one else for either of you and you're releasing this pain. I think this is your energy and you used to talk in daggers and ultimatums and what's up and tell me now and that killed the passion and this connection because this person has dealt with that has defended themselves against that so much and so has you and so you have shown up with this red cloak on and the red cloak is not for blood but love <laughs> and these birds swirling in the background you have learned how to speak in truth and sweetness and kindness. And that has restored your person's faith in home and the ability for you to build this abundance out together. Your kindness and grace and strength all in one have allowed you both to get out of your head and pursue this fairy tale. Faith, certainty, truth, and love are committed lasting connections. You have to believe before the evidence shows up that this dream is yours and it has come true. You did and it has. You're waiting for so long for this wish fulfillment that seems so close and yet so far. This 10th cup that needed to be brought to you and now it is affirmation that your person also sees this as deeply and is so connected as you do with the obsessive passion that keeps you coming back again in a very healthy and committed way 
you have to be that crazy about each other to go through all this stuff and keep coming back again. There's like intense, deep healing. Most people would have walked away. But this connection is divinely guided and protected. You guys have found a balance of giving between you that works for both of you. Ending cycles of the past that really tormented and hurt you both. What you moved on to is this soul fire, soul passion and higher level commitment. And that doesn't matter whether it's marriage in a church, it's commitment of the soul and nothing can exceed that. It's unspoken. It's untouchable. It feels like magic and infinite passion and it is and every day going forward is on fire. And that doesn't have to be said. It's beyond, I love you. It's recognition of who you are in the space to do that on your own, as well as the abundance of sharing new experiences and the world with them and balanced presence in which you can be together.